Hey, hi there. Good morning. My thought of the day is again about knowledge management, but actually <clears throat> that is way too fancy a word. What I wanted to say is I wanted to reflect about my experience of, I don't know, 20 plus something years in development cooperation. It's just a simple fact. I hear all the time breaking up of silos. We need to uh, get our knowledge onward and this and that and you know how to how to do this my experience in all those years is that never ever anybody picks up a phone and speaks to the person that has been doing the job before or the consultant that had installed the original previous knowledge management system or simple things like i want to take the website and install a login uh, section for members. So there's good reasons to do that and other reasons that might speak against it that I don't know. So what would I do? I would call the person that had installed the website and ask him or her, hey, you know, we're thinking about doing this and that with the login section. Um, this is obviously not a very new idea. So is there maybe one or two good reasons why you didn't do it when you were in charge? So my experience is, obviously, if I work somewhere, I, like everybody else, have a supervisor in some way. I ask him or her, listen, you know, I have this idea. Why don't we call up, you know, the person that has been doing my job before and ask? So what happens? My experience no, 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 no. You know, that person moved on and, uh, you know, there's in another project and so forth. Don't, don't do that. So I get this feeling, you know, I just like as if I'm in a hard nosed sort of corporate environment that people that, <clears throat> sorry, that move on cannot be contacted or that there's something serious going on when the sort of the person left the job. Well, we are in development cooperation. That usually doesn't happen. And it usually means also that uh, people are very engaged with their work. They believe in a whole lot of things. They are not just there to make money and, and move on. So there is a, a lot of reasons why you should actually be able to call that person and take like a, I don't know, five minutes of their work. No big deal. So what is wrong with all these project managers that keep on talking about knowledge management, breaking up of silos, uh, using buzzwords, which become irritating because they are sort of summarizing uh, everything in one word that doesn't really happen, that should be happening. So what's wrong there? So why don't you pick up the phone and talk to the person that has been doing things before and ask them, what are the good reasons why you haven't done this and that before? Because I'm thinking of doing that and I want to just get my ducks in a row that I don't oversee something, uh, something uh, slipping my mind. And um, yeah, this is the exact equivalent of what you should be doing in an agricultural project. You don't just go into a country and impose your idea of how to, uh, what to plant and then later on, the hippos come and run over the field and the locals tell you, listen, well, we could have told you, but you didn't ask us. So that's the same thing in knowledge management. Why don't you talk to the people that have been doing the job before? Simple as that.